Hello, I'm Randy here, and are you folks sick of ceiling videos yet? Because I'm getting kind of sick of making ceiling videos here. But we got at least uh, probably two more coming up here, you have one. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be working on installing an outlet and then uh, some sort of a box for uh, like HDMI and whatever other type of cables we need, might need for the projector here as well. Uh, so we're going to have to start by taking the projector down. We're then going to have to cut in a couple of boxes into this uh, ceiling here, one. Which, again, if you have not seen any of my videos on this ceiling, the ceiling is four inches thick, I one, And that, that's no joke. It is four inches thick, seven layers. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to cut a box into these. And we'll see once how it goes. I'm going to try and, uh, I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, once we get this done, I mean, then we'll be ready to hopefully uh, paint the ceiling. And that'll hopefully be the last time we really got to do much with the ceiling, at least for a while anyway. So, it's getting close to being done with this, one. And then, of course, once the ceiling's done, then we can start with the walls and all that good stuff. By the way, if you have uh, seen the last video, which is uh, probably prior to this one, I think, anyway, uh, depending on how I upload them, uh, we painted the ceiling here on this side, and I guess it turned out okay, everyone. You can definitely see there's some spots across it. It's not as maybe even as I would like it to be, everyone, but it is definitely, I would say, better than it was. And I'm not sure, to be honest, what we would really do to maybe improve this. Uh, I don't know, maybe another coat of paint would help. I don't know, Evan. I don't really know on that one. And, I, and yeah, I don't know, to be honest, it's probably not really maybe the paint so much, everyone, as it is the unevenness in the, uh, the texture. That would be my uh, probably guess as to what's probably more of the uh, problem than anything. But, yeah, we'll see once how it goes when we go to paint this. Ceiling. This one might be worse, better. I don't know. Not sure. I mean, it definitely doesn't look good in this light. <laughs> that is for sure. projector taken down that wasn't too hard now i'm going to mark where i'm going to put these boxes and we are going to attempt to cut through this ceiling again i have no idea if this is even going to work that one but we're going to try so i'm thinking somewhere in here probably don't want to get too close to the wall but We're through ceiling number one here. There's two more ceilings to go yet. And uh, yeah, hopefully that, uh, I think you folks can see. We do not have the cutting depth we need there. In fact, if you look at that blade, if it'll focus, we only have an inch and a half of cutting depth. That one, that is not anywhere close to four inches. So I'm going to need plan B. And I'm not sure what plan B looks like. That one, I really don't know. I'm thinking jigsaw, but I don't think even the jigsaw is going to have four inches. So we'll find out.
That actually didn't uh, go too badly other than the big mess it made here. As you've seen in the video, I ended up taking my hammer drill, drilled up through each of the four corners there. I was initially thinking my jigsaw, but th there was no way the jigsaw was going to reach up that high. So I ended up grabbing my sawzall here, grabbed the narrowest blade I could find because I only have a half inch uh, hammer drill bit here. I do have larger, just I don't have it here there at the shop. So drilled up through half inch there. And then with the saws oven, the saws oven just managed to get all the way up in through there and cut all the way through the last uh, two layers. Well, actually it's a total of five layers. Yeah, five layers. Yeah, five <laughs> layers. The last two ceilings, because again, there's two more ceilings up there. I managed to get through it with that just barely, but we got through it. And for those of you wondering what kind of atrocities we were trying to cut through here in the ceiling, oh boy, have you folks ever seen anything worse than this? Uh, this is by far the worst I've ever seen, everyone. By far. Look, I have never seen anything like this before, everyone. You know, I've cut through ceilings and walls before. You know, they take the old plaster and they'll slap a layer of drywall on top of it to fix it or something like that. Or maybe they'll slap another layer of plaster on top of that to fix it. But what in tarnation do we got going on here? So anyway. What we have, everyone, this is the ceiling you can see. So what you can see up there, that is this layer right here. So a layer of plaster and a plaster board. And then below it, everyone, there's an air gap in between here where they have furring strips. So I just got, uh, we ended up not having to cut through any furring strips, which is good. So I just got those pieces in there to kind of represent that. Next up, everyone, we have, I'm not sure what this is. If this is some sort of plaster, everyone, I don't know. Um, kind of looks like drywall mud to me, to be honest, but I don't, think it is, but I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, it's definitely not adhered very well to, oh, this is another layer of plaster here. It's definitely not adhered to that very well. I can tell you folks that much. And then we got a layer of whatever this is. I'm not sure what that is, Evan. Some sort of wood material. I, I, I don't know. It's got, yeah. Not sure what that stuff is, Evan. And then we get to the uh, final or the original ceiling, which is a layer of plaster and plaster board. And you can see each one of the layers here is painted. So if you go down to this one here, it's been painted. So at one point, this was the visible ceiling. Of course, it's uh, not anymore. And then if we go down to the uh, first ceiling oven, yeah, you can see the paint's definitely chipping off that layer, right? So at one point, I mean, that's what the ceiling used to look like. Kind of a peachy color there, I guess, right? So, yep, there's your stack up, everyone. Yeah, try cutting through that, huh? Okay, well, we switched over to the uh, GoPro here because we're going to be heading upstairs where we need to drill a couple holes going across the uh, ceiling here to where the uh, connections and the wires come up uh, somewhere in this wall here, right? Like right in this line. So we're going to head upstairs, got our tools, let's start drilling holes. Uh, we don't have light. No light. That's not good. Aha. There's your problem. Okay, so what we got here, we got the uh, Smurf tube coming up here. And then I think, is it this one? I'm assuming it's that one there. Yep, pretty sure, because this one's also live. So we need to be careful that this is hot. So that is coming up over there, everyone. We need to drill that all the way across. I'm not exactly sure where we need to go here. 
Ah, right here, I do believe. So we're down under here somewhere. Actually, there we are right there. Wow, look at that. Okay. There they both are. Oh, now what do we got going on here now? Well, in tarnation is this. Huh, very, very interesting, everyone. Very, very interesting. I wonder if that's live yet. Hmm. I probably better be careful touching that. Wouldn't surprise me if it is. Okay, I think we're good. We'll start. Whoa, what do we got here now? Oh. oh, just a box. Nothing exciting, that one. Nothing exciting. Oh, well. Okay, we finished uh, drilling out the great big one and three eighths holes here for the Smurf tube. Now I'm going to take this little half inch one and we're going to drill this out here for the wire. I think that should be large enough, hopefully. Might be a little tight, but I really don't want it any larger than it needs to be. So we'll drill that all the way across here. Okay, well, I've got the uh, Smurf tube ran all the way from over there to, I think it ends. And I don't know if you folks are able to see it ends right under there. And then I've got a small piece here. We just need to bridge two more and down into there. So we should be able to make this here with no problem, hopefully. There we go. Now we need to put a coupler on that. Not we can get on better than that yet. Okay, try for another ring. I want these on really good, everyone. Get me, that's all we're gonna get. Because obviously, if this comes apart, it's not a good thing, everyone. Not a good thing. Oh, yeah, well, you can see we did quite the. Uh, Quite hat job here when he cut this through with the saws off. Oh yeah, it's great. I'm thinking we're probably going to go to the far one here. That way we got a nice bend down into there. We'll see once here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I think that's gonna work, everyone. Okay, well now that we're back uh, top side here again, we got the Smurf tube and the wire coming through the ceiling. But for the Smurf tube, everyone, they do obviously make boxes for these. However, they're not uh, retrofit or old work type boxes. So we're gonna have to do something a little different here, everyone. I think we're gonna take an old work box here. We're gonna drill the appropriate sized hole in it. 
snap the coupler in hopefully and make that work. Maybe, we'll see how this goes. If not, I might have to get a different style coupler, one that screws in so we can actually like tighten it down in there. So looking at this here, nope, gotta go that side. Looks like that's over the appropriate size there. And I was noticing while I was going through my hole saws, I don't know what happened to that one. I mean, hopefully that shows up on camera, but there ain't no teeth left on that one. Oh well. I'll have to get a new hole saw for that one at some point. Okay, there we go. And let's go right to the middle here. go and verdict is, is that gonna snap in oh yeah I think that's gonna work Evan I think that'll work quite nicely and that will do we'll go up here grab our OSHA approved ladder here give this a little trim job I might have to go back up there to get this uh, push in. We'll see once here, but. There we go. Okay. I hope that fits. Oh, that's not a good sign. That one just doesn't seem to be tightening up. Okay, next up, we're gonna wire in the outlet here, which shouldn't take too much. I think we cut it off oh, right about there. Should be pretty good. And yes, the power is, of course, off here, by the way. Now, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Everyone is getting this up in here. go it's not as like extreme as Bobby but she's sneezing like a little tiny and then we'll strip these back Very simple plug to wire oven, only three wires. Don't have any other wires connecting to it. I like it, makes it nice and easy. And 
course, you always screw the other one in here as well. Let's see if I can tighten that loop up here just a little bit. There we go. And then for the ground wire, and again, I always tighten these up as well. And one last thing, because this is going in a retro fit box, we need to cut these ears off. If I remember correctly, that tab can stay. Okay. And then we'll put this up here and hope it catches. There's not a very big area for it to catch though. We're trying to catch that little gap in between there, which is not much. Maybe we can uh, help that out a little bit here, everyone. Oh, I broke the wrong side out. We need to break this side onto this one. There we go. That one caught. Feels like that one caught. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this one, but that one does not feel particularly good.
Well, I think that's going to do it for this project here for now. We got the outlet installed and it is live and turned on here. And then we got where the uh, like data cables and stuff will come through for the uh, projector here as well. I'm not entirely sure what kind of cover I'm going to put on that here yet. Might just put one of those, uh, uh, what do they call those, the brush type covers there. So you just pull the cables through. That'll probably be the easiest, I think, everyone. And then as you notice here, I just actually took the whole uh, projector mount off for the moment here because the next video oven, or well, probably the next video, see you anyway, will be us probably painting this ceiling. I think we're finally ready to paint it, everyone. So anyway, for this video for now, and thanks for watching. If folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.